what is going on YouTube check it out we're on the lot again and we got our next victim here guys so I think this one's gonna be a 2006 Chevy Colorado it is just a two-door two-wheel drive basic little work truck guys so we actually got this thing for a pretty dang good deal as well so it seems like cars are going kind of cheap right now it is January so it is a little bit before tax season so maybe everybody else stocked up and I'm a little bit late but the cars are going cheap so we got this one for right at $1,400 out the door that's with fees and everything so I think that's a pretty good deal it runs and drives so I drove it off the trailer and uh, it's just shaking really bad really really bad so we got a really bad misfire guys so I'm hoping this thing's not gonna need an engine but I mean uh, look at it the body's all straight I mean uh, it looks pretty clean after a quick detail this one's gonna probably fly off the lot so I sell a lot of these little work trucks for some reason I don't know why um, sometimes they even sell faster than the four-wheel drive ones so I think it's just people like them uh, this one's only a four-cylinder but yeah let's get to it guys I mean uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fire this thing up we can scan it and see what's going on with it okay so just to show you guys here I'm gonna crank this thing on And now she doesn't want to start guys so it was just firing right up let me give this another try there she goes and so she fires up but it's running really rough so I don't know if you guys can tell very much but check engine light is on and we do have a misfire here let's see if we can go check under the hood the whole thing's shaking pretty bad so we're gonna go ahead and uh, this thing. and see what kind of check engine lights we get hopefully it's just a bad coil or a bad spark plug guys let's go ahead and uh, keep on going on this okay so this is not very good here we got a camshaft crankshaft correlation code so on these colorados yes the chiming chain does stretch unfortunately it is like a hundred hour job i don't know off the top of my head but it is a ridiculous job but I came over here and I was looking and I seen that somebody must have already replaced the solenoid. And then I came and I was looking at this sensor here. So this is actually your exhaust camshaft sensor. And it's not all the way in there. So it looks like it's sticking out maybe an eighth of an inch, uh, eighth to a quarter of an inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take that out and see if it's not broken. Maybe they just didn't put it in there right. And maybe we scored but if not most likely this thing is going to need a timing chain i'm not getting my hopes up yet but let's go ahead and fix that sensor and see what happens okay guys so yeah that sensor was definitely uh in there crooked and i'm hoping maybe that's what our problem was so i went ahead and uh cleared our check engine light and let's go ahead and fire it back up i mean i'm not keeping my hopes up because it's a common problem on these and they must have replaced it for a reason but let's go ahead and try it Yeah, she's still misfiring guys it's actually not as bad but she is definitely still misfiring so yeah there goes the check engine light so let me go ahead and scan it again and see what it does oh we just got a misfire now look at that Maybe it's just a misfire we gotta fix now, guys. Maybe that did fix the cam crank correlation. So, let me keep on looking into this, guys, and I'll give you guys an update uh, once I figure something out. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and scanned this thing again, and we got no more codes for our cam crank correlation. So I'm hoping that was the problem, guys. But we still do have a misfire, and it looks like we got a misfire counter on cylinder number one. Looks like that's the only one that's picking something up so you can see there it keeps on moving and then under stored history history misfires it goes to cylinder number two for some reason so it looks like maybe misfire the misfire on cylinder number one might be slowing down cylinder number two or something like that so i think you know it might be worth just buying two coils and two spark plugs 
and tossing them in there and maybe we might have a good running truck guys so it doesn't even have a check engine oh yeah it just turned on right now so but so let's go ahead and scan it again just to see uh what our check engine lights on for guys here we go trouble code yeah see so we just got the engine misfire and it's the only code one of one so we don't have a camshaft camshaft crankshaft correlation code yes guys that's a huge saver right there so hopefully we can just fix this misfire hopefully there's no damage to the engine because of that and let's keep on going guys all right so we ended up uh, checking the check engine light on this thing it said it had a cylinder one and two misfire so i called the local o'reilly's and they told me that these coils were 60 dollars a piece so i was like beep that right so i'm not going to spend 120 dollars on two coils so I went to the local wrecking yard, my favorite place you pull it, had two of them in stock. Imagine that, right? And they were a total of $27, guys. So two of them for 30 bucks or two of them for 120. You guys tell me what you would have done. But I mean, I think I made the right choice. I also stopped at my local Napa, got some cheap spark plugs. So we're gonna go ahead and throw some spark plugs and coils on this thing and see if that misfire goes away, guys. So I'm gonna put you guys on a quick time-lapse I just got to pull off this intake box, get that coil out, get the spark plugs out, and put it all back together, guys. So, let's get to it. Okay, guys, so it's as simple as uh, removing your little air box there, and then you got your four coils here. So, I'm just going to go ahead and replace coil number one and two, and then I'm going to do all four spark plugs. So, simple as just unplugging them, and they got a 10 millimeter bolt on each one. So you just take all four of those out and zip our spark plugs out, torque those down, put it back together, guys. So put you guys on a quick little time lapse here and we'll get this done. Okay guys, so I put it back together here. Uh, when you put this uh, little collar back on here on this intake box, you gotta make sure that this goes over both sides, the throttle body and this air box. Cause if it has an air leak in there, that'll make it run bad as well. So this one was actually folded and I kinda had some trouble getting it back on there. So that might've been a, one of the problems from the get-go as well. So, but she's all back together guys. Let's go ahead and fire it up and let's cross our fingers and hopefully that fix our misfire. So let's do this. Come over here. Come on, baby. Cross our fingers and hopefully we don't have no damage to this engine here. Let me get the keys, huh? There we go. Give it a try. So far, so good, guys. It's got a little bit of a shake to it, but it might just need to mellow out first for a little bit man Woo -wee, guys i think we scored on this one so she's not misfiring right now it does have a little bit of a shake but oh man that thing runs way smoother way way smoother heck yeah baby Woo! so check it out so Maybe it had a cam crank correlation code and somebody tried putting that crank position sensor in there or cam position sensor in there. They put it in there wrong. So that's why we were throwing our original check engine light and that would make the engine run really rough if your engine can't tell where your cam or your crank is at. So, and then after that, we had a misfire as well. But luckily I spotted that crank position sensor. I was gonna start tearing this thing apart, but I noticed that it was in there just a little bit crooked and just, I guess that little gap was what made the difference but check it out guys she is running smooth smooth no check engine light so we'll go scope out this engine so earlier when i uh, came out here this engine was just shaking like that all crazy and man right now she is still she purrs like a kitten guys Woo -wee. so next step is let's take this thing for a test drive let's see how she rides so let's get to it. All right.
right guys so this thing is uh running perfect guys it's got no misfires no shakes no uh rattles over bumps or anything like that and i've actually been using it for the other half of the day it's already almost kind of getting dark outside if you guys can tell but i even actually loaded a stove up back there taking it to uh to somebody right now i'm gonna go drop it off so i'm already putting this thing to work so looks like she's gonna be a, ru a good runner guys okay guys so sorry it's a little windy outside today but after that test drive i ended up calling my man Selic 509 he took it to his place he got it all detailed up and check out the final product guys man this thing is nice so he got this thing real shiny i mean it wasn't really in bad condition to begin with but this thing looks nice so she will definitely be for sale here only thing is maybe the rip in the seat and the broken windshield but if the comp customer complains about it i'll probably just let it go like that but she's in great condition guys so just wanted to give you guys a little update on that i mean uh if you guys like what i'm doing please like subscribe hit that bell button so you guys get notifications when i put new videos i'm gonna try and post more stuff up i know i've been slacking on that i will try to do better guys but remember stay up hustle hard